All right, scoring. We got uh, two, two, and five, the breakdown. So, please see five points part C is the most, and four out of those five are very easy. All right, part A, you've got fun, uses fundamental theorem of calculus. So, if you identify F prime of X and then turn it into F of X and then we're able to plug it, give them this. If they can see that you use fundamental theorem of calculus, there's one. All right, and the second part is, again, improper integral. You want to change it. Uh, I, I changed the K. Down here, they changed the B. Okay, uh, whatevs. Whatever, whatever letter floats your boat, use that one. So, But make sure that you replace the infinity with this limit process because that's where that second point is going to be coming from. And then uh, provided that you can be able to substitute in, all right, K, X, X, there you go, zero. All right, so there's two points. Two points for the Eulers. Once again, you, Eulers method equation equivalent table so they can see that you did Eulers. And then you get the answer right. So one point for the five halves and one point for showing that you know how to do Eulers. And the, the last one, here we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can get everything out of the way here. All right. Separates variables. Bang. You know, there you go. One over y dy, negative three x dx. That's one point. Antiderivatives. Can you take the antiderivative? You got to get both of those right. Both of those antiderivatives right is going to give you a point. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure I get this in here. If you forget the plus C, they're only going to give you two. So that's what that part's saying. And if you don't separate your variables, if you just like were to see it and write down the answer, the, that's going to get you nothing. So make sure you're showing your work. All right, constant of integration. There's my plus C. You solve for it. Please see my C. Doesn't end up being their C because they solve for Y. But they're going to give it to you. They're going to give you that point. So keep it simple. So there's that point, uses initial condition, you plugged in. Oh, this is back in the old days where they actually just give you a fright and plus C. Nowadays, you got to solve for that C. Um, uses initial conditions, these would have been reversed. And then finally, that last point is solves for Y. So like I said, the first four are easy. That last one can be a little tricky.